Northleach, a textbook Cotswold town, and in this country, home to cousins Kerry and Curtin Mucklow. Over there, we saw Lawrence Well and Bowen once. Because I was walking in the co-op, and he was coming out, and I said, after you, and he said, no, after you. He's so humble. <laughs> but in real life, Kerry and Curtin are brother and sister, Daisy and Charlie Cooper. Yeah, so it started uh, when I was at drama school and I was really homesick and Charlie got kicked out of Exeter University, came to live with me and we just, all we ever talked about was the Cotswolds and Sirencester and because we were so homesick and I think it just started coming from there, talked about characters from town and... Yeah, it's about, uh, about five years ago the idea came and um, we just started from, we wrote a few scripts, had Daisy put a few videos up on YouTube and then um, sent them off to like production companies, had some interest and it just sort of went from there really. Uh, working together as brother and sister, what's that like? It's a bit annoying. It's really annoying. We row all the time. Our mum has to split up our rows, isn't mm, she? But you are annoying. <laughs> yeah, no, he's annoying. <laughs> You're really annoying. <laughs> this country isn't the view of the Cotswolds that you'd normally expect, but that's deliberate. We love the Cotswolds, and it has such a strong identity. I think we wanted to show it the side that we knew and that we grew up with, and not the side that you read in Cotswold Life magazine, because that's I can't really relate to that. I've got enemies in South Surrey. I've got enemies in North Surrey. I've got enemies in Surrey Wick. We do love living here. We wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Yeah, it's and there's so many brilliant. like big characters, and it is that sense of everyone knows each other, and there's a good community, and it's um, and you end up finding a lot about people, which we write down in our little black book. Yeah. <laughs> so probably see a lot more of that. So there's everything from the rivalry of the annual scarecrow competition. I reckon I've got a chance this year. Cheers, man. To meeting the locals like Mandy, who's just taken up tattooing. Who's that one? Uh, mm, that's Grant from EastEnders, but also it could be um, that bloke off MasterChef. I'm on my way now, OK? But many of the stories are based on Daisy and Charlie's real-life experiences. Someone's just been throwing plums at my house. There's nothing left that hasn't been plumbed. And we had the plum tree growing in our front garden, so we used to have loads of kids just throwing plums at our window. But to make it worse, my dad would always chase them. <laughs> this is where we celebrate our old woodwork teacher's death, Mr with Perkins. With a bottle of cheap fizz from yeah. the shop. <laughs> <laughs> he always used to say, oh, Kerry and Curtin, you'll do, do nothing, nothing with, with your, your lives. Life. Which is a bit rich, to be honest, coming from him, who's now dead. Yeah. This country reflects the rawness of real life. It definitely isn't family viewing, so it hasn't been for everyone. But how's it gone down here in Northleach? I think the language could be toned down a little bit, but it's fun. I mean, if, you know, it's one of those things, if you don't like it, turn it off. Uh, as long as you don't think that this is, this is a sort of documentary of, of Northleach. It's just a comedy programme done very cleverly. People have been absolutely amazing and it just... It, it, it means so much to us. It really is a dream come true. And Charlie, you know, almost a million viewers on a Saturday night on BBC One. I know, yeah, that's after the match of a day as well. Um, yeah, it's so surreal. I mean, I watched it with my mum the first episode, and it's just, it's just like seeing it there, it just doesn't, I don't think it's quite hit us yet. No, but, um, it's... One day I'll wake up in a cold sweat and be like, yeah. oh my God, what's this happened? <laughs> or it's just been a big dream. What do you think your impact on the Cotswolds image is going to be? Oh, I don't I'll know. Get chucked out, I would imagine. Might get plumbed, I think. <laughs> yeah, plumbed, drive by plumbing. So for Daisy and Charlie's irreverent take on where they grew up, this country is on iPlayer and on BBC One on Saturday nights, but don't forget, it's definitely for grown-ups. I've got enemies in Borton on the water. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Northleach.